So the term metaverse has been discussed in crypto circles for a while now, and after Zuckerberg's announcement, it has been brought to the public's attention. Some are skeptical and others are confused about this concept. So in this video, we're going to explore the term and try to define it. And we'll start by distinguishing between a metaverse with a lowercase m and the metaverse with a capital M. So a metaverse, lowercase, is an online virtual world that allows for multiple purposes. Now these metaverses can be used to exhibit art, host virtual events, make new friends, and so much more. Now a metaverse is different from a video game in the sense that there is no set objective or main conflict that needs to be resolved. One doesn't complete a metaverse like one completes a game. Instead, one continuously builds a virtual identity and interacts with others in an online environment. A metaverse can also become a space for business as virtual stores can be created and significant deals can be brokered. These metaverses need security and transparency and have been made possible thanks to blockchain technology. Blockchain's public ledger allows identities to be verified and the immutability of transactions lowers the risk of fraud. A leading blockchain technology in the metaverse space is Polygon. Decentraland, The Sandbox, Mega Cryptopopolis, Avagotchi, Blocktopia, and many more of the biggest metaverses use Polygon because it enjoys the benefits of Ethereum without the high transaction costs. Now, all these metaverses mentioned and more are part of something bigger, which we can define as the metaverse with a capital M. Let us now explore what the metaverse is. So, in a nutshell, the metaverse is everything. It is a set of all things. Now, we need the term metaverse because it is different from the more familiar term universe. We are currently in a postmodern era where science has defined the universe as only that which is matter. If we cannot sense or detect something, then it doesn't exist in the universe. Now, this way of thinking secularized Western society and disenchanted our worldview. No longer do we consider the spiritual world to be of much significance because it isn't made of matter. Now, this way of thinking is becoming a stumbling block for many when it comes to cryptocurrencies and the value of the virtual world. It has given rise to the familiar argument against Bitcoin, but I can't touch it or there isn't anything tangible backing it. To them, cryptocurrencies cannot be sensed or detected and therefore don't exist in the universe. NFTs are an even bigger conundrum to these people because to them, things have to have a physical form to have value. To them, it is outrageous to suggest that art has transcended the canvas and no longer depends on the materials to exist. And if they cannot accept virtual tokens and virtual art, then there is little hope for them to accept virtual land as a new asset class. Now, it would be easy to dismiss Bitcoin, NFTs and virtual land if they didn't have billions of dollars of monthly transactional volume. But because of these large sums of money, people cannot ignore it. Capitalism makes them curious to learn more, and it is the reason why the metaverse is such a hot topic of discussion. Now, the metaverse gives people a structure to understand and accept things that are not only physical. It allows them to break free from a purely materialistic way of thinking. The metaverse includes the physical world, the spiritual world, the psychological world, the virtual world, and all other worlds. The metaverse idea will bring many old naysayers of crypto into the ecosystem. They'll start by looking at virtual art and exploring online envir environments. Once immense in the virtual world, they will start to see its value and by accepting the idea of the metaverse, they'll be able to embrace things that are beyond physical matter. So the metaverse is the philosophy that will bring the rest of the world to crypto.